just because we're in video mode already. This is my little sausage dog, Loki. He wanted to be in the video today. Alright, um, we're going to teach some people how to sex snakes. Uh, it's another thing that we kind of struggled with in the beginning and figured that we could do some teaching on that. Um, first, I want to say that sexing snakes is and can be dangerous. Um, you can't hurt your snake by sexing them. So just be really careful. Um, honestly, I just watched videos on how to do it and kind of taught myself. Just don't be very forceful. And once you figure out how, then you'll it'll it'll become comfortable for you. So um, we're gonna start with the male, just because the male's gene uh, peens parts are a lot more obvious. Hemi peens are a lot more obvious than uh, females. So. This is KJ, this is my little lesser B male. I'm going to show you how to sex him. Alright, um, first thing is you want to get the snake comfortably um, wrapped around you. Um, if you have a problem snake that you're worried about biting you or something while you're doing this, um, you can use a bag. I don't know, I don't have any animal bags. A uh, bag or like a pillowcase or a towel, something like that. Just basically wrap their head in it and uh, kind of close it off so that they can't get to you. Um, Alright, so I don't know if you can see it in the video. This is the cloaca right here. Alright, this is their where their parts are. Um, they use this hole for everything. Um, pee, poop, and sex. So, the organs, the sexual organs are in the base of the tail. Okay, they're all down here. From here's the vent. They're this way. Okay, some people probe snakes. Um, with some snakes, you might need to, but with ball pythons, we can pop pretty much anything. All right. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your thumb right on the vent, and you're just gonna gently pull back on it, just kind of rolling it back. All right, and that just kind of opens the vent up a little bit. And then you're gonna come down here about it, about a half an inch or so down, depending on the size of the animal. Uh, you can usually see where it starts to skinny out. You're going to just grab it right here, not too firmly. You're going to pull back on this vent, and you're just going to roll your finger forward. Okay, it's going to pop It's going to pop his, uh, his hemipenes out if it's a male. Okay, so you see those two little red dots? Um, that's the hemipenes. All right, when you have younger males, the hemipenes won't be as red, but they're still red. Alright, so if you see hemipenes, then you know that you have a male snake, okay? So again, just kind of pull it, pull the vent back a little bit and roll it forward, alright? And you'll see the hemipenes pop out. Alright, make sure those go back down in there. And put it away. Alright. Now we're going to do a small female. That's, that's a pretty small male. He's at about 350, 400 grams. Alright, clean my hands off. Alright, now we're going to do a small female. This might get me tagged. You can do Nina. Nina? Yeah. She'll be nice and she's small. Alright, so this is one of our little normal girls. She's still pretty small, so this will work. Alright, again, just kind of drape her on your arm where she's comfortable. And she'll hang on. Right, usually if they're wrapped, it'll, it'll help you a lot keep, uh, keep control. Or not. Alright, usually she's a little tense right now, so you usually want to wait for them to relax a little bit. Maybe you'll have to hold them for a second and just let them get relaxed. You can see she's kind of tense. But, um, yeah, so once they relax, then they'll loosen all these muscles right here. Um, come on, lady, chill out. Alright. So, if this was a bigger animal and she was tense, it would be a lot harder, but since she's small, it won't be too bad. Alright, so, again, with the female, it's not as obvious, okay? So that's why a lot of people will pop their babies and stuff a couple times, just to make sure that that's what they're looking at. Um, same thing, pull back the vent a little bit and roll forward, okay? So you will see, you will see two little things pop out, but there's no red, it's just white. Um... Sometimes it'll have a little bit of red tint to it, but unless you see those 
red peens come out, then you got a female. Okay, and this is like I said, a little younger female will pop a little bigger female, but that's basically what you get if there's a female. There's a little, a uh, little bulge comes out. Okay, nothing red. Right, I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry. Go back to bed. Alright, you don't want to go back to bed now. Okay. Alright, I can clean my hands again. You will sometimes get a little bit of urine on you doing that. Mm -hmm. So be prepared for that. Or more, but usually not. Alright, now, this is going to be a little more graphic. This is an adult male, and he is having sperm plugs. Um, a lot of times you'll pop your males before breeding season to make sure that they're producing sperm before you put them on the female because you don't want to waste your, your time or his. So, like I said, this is going to be a little more graphic, so hang in there. This is uh, an adult male. Um, again, you can see the bulge where it kind of starts to slim down. Grab the vent here, put a little bit of pressure, and just run forward. Okay. I got worn out. Alright, so you can see how dark his peens are. I mean, they're purple. Um, now, this is because he's an adult male. They just develop a lot more. And you can see this gross stuff that came out. That's his man juice. So, clean that off. He's producing, he's producing sperm. I'm going to do it one more time for you. Alright, and you'll see. I'm going to roll him forward. Two dark pins. Alright, those are hemi pins. Go back in. Alright, settle down. Okay. Thank you, buddy. Alright, so we'll put him away. If he'll go away. Alright, clean the hands one more time. We'll do a female. We'll do a bigger female. female. Now again, if you have a female that is a problem, that you're worried about getting bit, um, like I said, wrap her head in a towel and put her in a um, pillowcase or whatnot. <clears throat> Alright, so again, you can kind of see where the tail skinny's out. This is about an inch down from where uh, her vent is. Here's her vent. Okay, you can see I control the vent a little bit. And do here, you're going to roll forward. Now with like I said, if if they if they um, aren't loose, it's a little harder. Don't don't hurt them by trying too hard. Just get them to calm down. All right, so here we go. All right, so you see her two bulges come out. That's basically her open. I could probably go a little more, but there's no point. Um, unless you see those two dark hemipenes come out, you'll just see those two little nubs. And they do have little points on them, so it almost looks like hemipenes, um, but there's no uh, there's no red to them. So that's about all you get. All right. Um, I don't probe my animals. I don't. There's no problem with it or anything. And honestly, a lot of times it's more sure. In case you have an animal that's tense and you can't get them to extend, but I haven't had a problem with that. So I just want to kind of show you about that. Do we have another man here? Oh. We'll do blaze real fast. Alright, let me show you blaze. He's up here. Oh, he's in shed, poor baby. Alright, here's blaze. This is my fire male. In really, really deep shed. But I'll go ahead and pop him because he's about mid size. He's about 450 grams or so, almost 500. So, Alright, there's another male. You can't see anything. Poor guy. Alright. So, again, pull back on the vent, just roll forward. Now, you can see his hemipenes, they're not as dark, and he's, he's got a little bit of sperm plugs, but not much. So, you can see he's a little bit red, and that's how you know you've got a male. Alright, he is producing plugs, you can see on there. So, he's going to be one of our breeders coming up this coming season, and God can I not wait for that. But there you go, that's how you can sex your animals. Um, if you're buying animals, 
a lot of the breeders sell a lot of animals, alright? They sell animals when they're small, like I said, it's a lot harder to tell when the animals are small. He's in the shed, so. It's a little harder to tell when the animals are small because the paints aren't as red. So, sometimes people miss sex snakes, especially, you know, the bigger breeders are busy and this or that, so check your animals when you get them. Honestly, I've had a couple animals that I bought that weren't the sex that I thought they were. And I didn't check them because I just assumed that they knew what they were doing and found out later that they weren't a male or female. So, check your animals no matter who it comes from. Check your animals. Most people do like a 24 to 48 hour guarantee on your animal. And they tell you if there's any problem, then let them know immediately. And if you don't sex that snake for three to four months to find out that it's the wrong sex, you might have a little bit of a problem. So, uh, honestly, if you can prove that they made a mistake, they'll usually make it right. But just to avoid that, so... Um, if you guys have any questions, again, comment. Um, I appreciate you watching the videos, and we'll do our best to make more. If anybody has any video ideas or want to see anything, 